Hello, this is Kalana Kiki Peace. Um, this was number two on trending the last time I tried to record a video, and now it's number eight on trending. Um, I really want to do a video on um her actually announcing that she was pregnant. Um, I didn't have an app that showed her actually announcing it. That's why I didn't actually make a video on her announcing it. And, um, first off, I want to say, um, congratulations, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins on the baby. I wonder if it would be a baby girl or a baby boy. Um, and what they'll name it. Yeah, they'll have to definitely think on that one. <laughs> so, um, also, I watch what Shayna had to say, and I don't know if she was just keeping character or if she's really just jealous or that Rhonda didn't have her baby first or if, or if she's just being a total bitch so <laughs> she, she, I don't think she's ever liked Becky so I don't know but I remember when I went to an NST live event and saw Shayna for the first time she doesn't seem like the friendly type, even when she's not in character, so, yeah. Even when she's in, out in public, she doesn't, and I've noticed this on the carpool karaoke stuff, when she's around Rhonda, she doesn't seem to smile much, you know, and she's, one of Rhonda's bestest friends, but she, she's still a bitch even around Rhonda. It's like, I, it's like, damn, does she ever, you know, just because she's MMA doesn't mean she can, you know, like, ex MMA or whatever, doesn't mean she can, you know, just be crabby all the time. Cheer up some, come on. I mean, break some character, break that character. I mean, God, smile, laugh, some, sheesh. I mean, stop having an attitude problem. Anyway, off subject. That was off subject, sorry. Anyway, stop ranting. Here we go. I walked in through these very doors in 2013 and I, I didn't, didn't know anybody in this country and I, I didn't know if I was good enough to be this here Irish last speaker. and uh and then the man and uh, I didn't know if uh <laughs> okay. if anybody would care about a loud mouthed mm -hmm. Irish woman who loves puns and toast <laughs> But somewhere along the line, I I learned that they did care, and they cared. I love they you, put Becky. Me on their shoulders, and they carried me into history, and I will never forget that. Through injury you, and Becky. triumph, it was the fans who stood up for me, who had my back, and it was and the fans were. who I grabbed onto when I didn't have anybody else. And that is why it is the fans, it is you at home, that the, that deserve to hear this from me first. That I ha I have to go away for a while. And... Oh, please stop crying, please stop crying. <laughs> oh. I'm still crying over this. Hey, this is Monday and it's still making me cry. You have beat me when nobody else could. You have been the best wrestler in the world for a long time. And this is why I am so glad that this is happening to you. Because the match last night, it wasn't what you thought it was.
It wasn't for an opportunity to win the championship. It was for so much more. Much more. And I, I know you haven't been able to unlock this. <laughs> so there's a combination. <laughs> and there's the championship. The match last night was actually for the Raw Women's Championship. Yay! No, I can't fight anymore, but, but you can. You are the champion. I'm gonna miss you. Like, what? I'm the champion. You are the champion. I'm the champion! You are the champion. Yeah! <laughs> I love that reaction. Yeah! Oh, it's it's so awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Uh. Oh god, she's so hilarious. Yeah, and Oscar actually did not have a clue that Becky was, was going to announce this. Not many people knew that she was going to announce this. I guess Seth already knew, but duh. But you know, not many people knew, so this was going to be a legit announcement. So, a, a legit surprise for. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. The Roman Reigns, uh, the link between the Universal no, I'm not as happy as you are to be the champion. I, I might be a little bit happier. So you go be and be a warrior, because I'm going to go be, be a mother. mother. Oh, I love that line! He's finally get to be a mama! Yeah, you're you're bringing character, Asta. You know that, right? Whoa. I love that theme song. I gotta I gotta get that on my phone now. You can hear it while she's gone. Even though you're not that anymore, you're the man now, but I don't care. When I started watching you, I was left to so. See you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Comes in the heartstrings. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, how do you get out of this? Okay. Anyway, that's the video. And. Oh man. I remember on Monday when I saw that. Oh my god. I was. Since, since Monday, I've just. Uh, and I'll admit, it was definitely a heartfelt Monday of for Raw. So, um, and I'll finally tell the truth. I am bisexual, and I've had a huge crush on my uh, Becky for. Ever since I saw her on Raw, or was she on Raw or SmackDown? I, I think she was on Raw in 2016. I'm I'm not positive, but all I know is I was watching for the Shield, Roman, Seth, and Dean mainly, and then when I saw her, holy shit! Her move set, her hair, and that she was Irish. I'm pretty sure I'm part Irish, and, you know, I'm part Norwegian, Cherokee, Irish, English, out. so, yeah, that's all I know for a factor, 
but yeah. I don't know how big of a part of Irish I have in me, but I love tap dancing. I'm not really good at it anymore, but I used to do it a lot. Um, I've kind of stopped doing it, but when I saw her and noticed that she was Irish, and I'm like, and I loved her accent. It's like, and yeah, so. Anyway, um, okay. Peace out.